the section we are addressing now refers to the adoption of the DIC EDU competencies for the topic of this webinar. Being digitally competent is a task for the 21st century citizen. Being digitally competent means using digital technologies in a confident and safe way for various purposes, such as working, getting a job, learning, shopping online, obtaining health information, being included and participating in society, entertainment and others. <clears throat> Referring to the digital skills in Europe, we can address this topic by looking what are the overall digital skills on our continent. <clears throat> According to the graphic, just 56% of Europeans aged 16 to 75 have at least basic digital skills. On the other hand, 79% of the EU citizens go online weekly, whereas 71% do so every day. 73% <clears throat> of the elderly people though, and those with low education levels and low incomes use the internet weekly. 19% <clears throat> of Europeans have no digital skills at all. They do not know how to look for information on the web, read the news online, <clears throat> send emails or pay their bills online. 14% of Europeans have never used the internet. More than 8 out of 10 Europeans use mobile phones to go online. <clears throat> to summarize, data shows that currently 44% of European citizens do not have basic digital skills. And 37% of citizens in the labor force, farmers, bank employees, and factory workers alike also lack sufficient digital skills, despite the increasing need for such skills in all jobs. <clears throat> Looking at equipping people with the right skills, it seems that policies are needed to be put in place to ensure that people at all ages have access to the appropriate digital skills. Developing such skills is largely under the competence of the member states, but the EU can help. <laughs> Through the, the Digital Skills and Job Coalition and other initiatives, the Commission seeks to reduce digital skills gaps by fostering the sharing, replication, and upscaling and best practices in areas such as training and matching for digital jobs, certification and awareness raising. The Commission will also launch the Digital Opportunity Trainership Program, which will give around 6,000 students of all disciplines hands-on experience in fields such as cybersecurity, data analytics, quantum or artificial intelligence, as well as programming and software development. The first trainship started in 2018. To summarize, the European Commission faces huge digital challenges to upskill and reskill citizens and the labor force. The demand for ICT specialists is growing rapidly in all sectors of the economy. A lot of people today lack sufficient digital skills, despite the increasing need for such skills in all jobs. It seems that over 90% of people with an ICT education in the EU has a job. Since 2005, over 2 million more ICT specialists were employed in the EU. Out of them, 40% of enterprises who are looking to fill ICT specialist jobs say they have difficulties finding the right people. Today, there are at least 350,000 open vacancies 
for ICT specialists in Europe, and this figure is expected to increase. As it seems, employees need solid digital skills to remain employable in today's digital working place. Today, 90% of jobs require basic digital skills. Digital technologies are used in all types of jobs, from farming, healthcare, and travel businesses, to car mechanics, teaching, and the ICT industry. Today, 90% of jobs require basic digital skills, such as sending emails, finding information on the internet, and editing documents. However, 35% of labor force don't have basic digital skills. Of these, one out of three do not have any skills at all. 38% of companies <clears throat> report uh, that the lack of digital skills impact their performance, loss of productivity, 46%, and fewer customers, around 43%, are the main negative impacts. It should also be stated that women are underrepresented at all levels in the ICT sector, particularly in decision-making positions. <clears throat> Only 3.5 of all university students study information and communication technologies, that is ICT, and less than one in five ICT graduates is a woman. For every uh, 1,000 women graduates, only 24 take up jobs in the ICT sector. And those, only six women in 1,000 remain in the digital sector. We have here a timeline from 2005 up to today, where we can see that only 16% of the ICT jobs are held by women. Since 2005, the number of women in the tax sector have remained equal. This means that we have not seen any improvement at all. <clears throat> Time is now for a question to see what we have learned up till now. The question is, what percentage of the European citizens do not have basic digital skills? If your answer is 44%, that is correct. If not, please go through the slides again and find the correct answer. The second question regards the challenges facing the European Union regarding digital skills. Thank you very much for your attention.